I don't know if you were the very first two days back on Earth, you know, the seminar at the planetarium. I don't know if you were the first one. But I remember I didn't know where to start because I'm standing in front of all these doctors. So I had them go around the room and ask them what their hormone replacement ideas were, how they did it and why they did it that way. And I'd say, what's your hypothesis? And one after another was just fumbling. No, I it didn't make any sense. And finally, I said, okay, we'll stop. I said, I have a hypothesis. My hypothesis is you don't have one and you're still prescribing. And as a woman, I'm appalled that you would give me something you don't understand. You don't know how it works. I don't think that's okay. In fact, I'm sure the FDA doesn't think that's okay. And that's why we're having problems with them and bioidenticals because you're just handing it out in the template of the standard of care. And if I'm not mistaken, the Women's Health Initiative said the template of standard of care would kill you. So why are we still doing it this way? When we have a model, insulin in type 1 diabetics, through the skin into the fat base, short needle, as we would have produced it as we eat, those people live long, healthy lives, those type 1s. Why can't women have hormones as they would have produced them through the skin? I think we got a better plan. I always show it in the seminar. Sleeping controls eating, how you eat, what you eat. Sleeping and eating control aging, which we call menopause. So how many trips around the sun you take depends on what your food supply was and whether or not it was three, four months of high insulin and long light, which is summer, or it was 12 months. And in which case, you'll age four times as fast because you only get one summer every trip around the sun. So once you understand all that and you realize that just simple entropy winds you down as your hormones run out so you don't have the raw materials, or you don't, well, you don't have the effectors to deal with the raw materials, the food and the light, you put all that back together and I'm pretty sure it's the best you can hope for. I mean, you can't tinker in the powder. You have to put the big pieces together first. And if you do that, most people get significantly better. And quality of life goes through the roof, you know?